All this month at Appalachian Wireless, get the only truly water-resistant Android smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S7, for just $99.99, and get a second one free. While supplies last, service agreement is required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. One year ago today, raging waters upended the lives of hundreds of people living along Route 172 in Johnson County, and all of us were changed forever. Twelve months later, it is no surprise that many are still struggling to recover from that disaster. EKB News reporter Shelby Steele has spent the day remembering the flood with those who were affected by it and those who answered the call for help. Now let's join Shelby live in Johnson County, powered by the 4G LTE network of Appalachian Wireless. Good evening, Shelby. Hey Jill, if I would have been standing in this exact spot one year ago today, I would have been underwater. The creek behind me, which is now about six inches deep, was 40 feet deep that day. I have one resident here with me today who said she actually had to move after the flood. Wendy Martin, you were there, you weren't at your house yet, but right. you got the call. Kind of take us back to that day. Um, well, when I came through here, um, it wasn't bad. I mean, there was some water over the road. Um, but by the time I got to the trailer park at Ramey Branch, um, it was pretty bad. It was horrible. And you've had to move, so obviously your house was destroyed. Yeah, it's gone. Can't find anything uh, other than my jewelry box. I did find it, but can't, couldn't find a carpet or a hardwood floor piece, nothing. And you told me about a sleigh that you had earlier. Yeah, I had a sleigh bed, and it was heavy. And uh, the next day when I came out uh, to look for things, it was actually up in trees, still made up from the morning, you know, before I went to work. And, like, it had just been placed there. And that's what many other residents had to deal with. I spoke to a lot more who were in the water, and they tell me it's a day they'll never forget. The stories of that day remain the same. The recovery, however, is different. Many lost everything they owned on July 13, 2015, including their loved ones. The memories, though, will last forever. I'd say they probably think about it every day, and they probably will until they die. Four people died that day during the Johnson County flood. The Floyd County Emergency and Rescue Squad aided in rescue efforts along Route 172. Even though most members live in Floyd County and surrounding areas, that day was difficult for them. We weren't used to losing people, and there were four lives lost that evening. One of those, we were as close as 15 feet from them and was not able to catch them. When my teams returned, I had to have uh, pastoral help here to deal with my rescuers because they were were, uh, they were not setting too well. While four lives were lost that day, those who were saved are thankful. We pulled 26 people from the water in a very short amount of time. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot of folks, but now this is people that were hanging in the trees, uh, in their houses, top of their houses, attics, whatever the case may be. Me and my youngest son went up to my uncle's to get help, which was a higher plateau in the bottom. And by the time we got him, that building had already broke loose. And they were inside. They did make it out, and uh, they were able to get rescued. Stewart's father owned a gun shop, which is the building that broke loose. The family lost the shop, and their home was damaged significantly. We rebuild as much as we could with the FEMA money. FEMA doesn't really quite cover the amount of money that you need to fix it back. But um, as far as being able to live in it, we've, we've got it to that point. Stewart says it'll take roughly $20,000 to complete the work on her home. Stewart tells me not only is she having to deal with rebuilding her home, but her youngest son, who was nine at the time, watched his family float away, and now he has to undergo counseling. Reporting in Johnson County for EKB News, I'm Shelby Steele.